Good evening. <laughs> Jeff, what am I about to do? You are about to stoke the fire with a poker. Well, I suppose I could do that, yes. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> That's what I was going to do. That's what I was going to do. I'm, I'm poking the fire because... Uh, hey. Wait a minute. What's this? Hey, look at this. This is disgusting. It's leftover from Christmas. And look, it's got Regis written on it. Ooh, I wonder if there's a tangerine. What is Regis's Christmas stocking doing up here? I don't know. I didn't even know Regis was here at Christmas time. Yeah, he came by, sure. I was in Scotland. I did. did you have a party or something? Yeah, we had a little, little thing here. Just something small. No big deal. Really? Who was here? It was about 150 people. Uh... Did I know anybody? Yeah, yeah. You know, Jay Leno was here. Jay Leno? Sure. Andy Richter. Andy Richter? <laughs> yeah. Well, but Conan wasn't here? Conan was here. He was here, sure. So Conan and Jay were both here? Yeah, we had a great time. I must have been a bit awkward. No, no, we got, we got all really drunk and had a good time. Do you know when people play beer pong? Yeah. Do you guys play beer pong? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I see, I never, even when I, was, when I was drinking, I never played beer pong. It's a lot of fun, man. No, man, because to me, drinking's not a game. <laughs> it's not a game. Well, we, were we playing some kind of stupid game or are we drinking? That's what I was... And then, what if the, the ball doesn't land in your cup? What are you going to chug then? We uh, played a game called Stocking Toss, but we all had to be nude when we did it. And uh, Regis lost. Is... <laughs> Should I wash my hands? Yeah, yeah. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. I'm very impressed, very impressed by your performance of lying. Total lies. Total lies. Total. I heard the warm-up comedian, we call him a comedian, he's not actually a comedian. <laughs> I heard him before I came out, and he said to the audience, did you hear the phrase tonight? Yeah, he? he said to the audience, I need an orgasm of energy! <laughs> you think I didn't hear that? An orgasm of energy? I'm like, well, I don't need that! <laughs> You keep that to yourself. An, orga as an, an orgasm of energy is supposed to an orgasm of what? An orgasm of just like laid backness or something? Yeah. Yeah. I will now reenact an orgasm with no energy. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Craig, that was a remarkable performance. How? I've researched, that's why. <laughs> Right, Jeff? They call that an orgasm of lethargy. Or exactly, an orgasm of lethargy. You ready? Here it comes again. <laughs> Still puts a smile on your face, but more of a kind of a... Yeah, there you are, just like that, yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, it is... <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, one night we'll come out, we'll just do the show, won't we? Yeah. No. It's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> it is? No, I'll tell you why. I t let me tell you why, because it's fascinating. I heard the news that Clay Aitken, have you heard about this? Clay Aitken from American Idol is running for Congress. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, about damn time is what right. <laughs> Run, Clay, run! Run, Clay, run! Come on, run, Clay, run! Run, Clay, run! Run, Clay, run! Yeah! All right, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. This is great. This is fantastic. Do you know the material that'll be for me if Clay Aiken becomes a congressman? <laughs> I can come in to work even later every day. <laughs> Clay Aiken running for Congress. Now, now, American Idol is very different from Congress, you know. One, one, of, one, one of these things is a sad reality show for talentless wannabes, and the other one is American Idol. So right there, <laughs> they're different. Do you know that the British tabloids are reporting? They're like, we're reporting something. Right, right. Yeah, here, here's a story. It's true. It's in the British tabloids are reporting that Bill Clinton once had an affair with the British actress Elizabeth Hurley. Why not? <laughs> she, was the one, she was the one in Austin Powers, so she's used to hearing, that will make you horny, baby. <laughs> Bill Clinton has Austin Powers. That's Ooh, a like great that. idea. It's good. That'd be awesome. It's very good. Dr. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> You are super naughty. <laughs> I'm gonna have to spank you. And also... <laughs> guess what happened? Do you know what happened? <laughs> it's a great day for America. Well, parts of America, it's not a great day for the Northeast. They've got that huge snowstorm. It's no. crippling the, nor the, the cities in the East Coast. The storm is expected to come in two waves. That's why I'm calling it multiple snowgasm. <laughs> The Winter Olympics, of course, start on Friday, but if you want to see people flipping over end over end in a frozen wonderland, just watch people on the East Coast try and drive to work and all the snow <laughs> and the ice and the sleet. It made the, this morning's commute very messy. It was very, very messy. It was messier. How, hang how on, messy? hang on, I'll get some. Yeah. Messier, messier than Donald Trump's bedhead. There, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, Jeff, Jeff how uh, messy was the commute? Uh, messier than a salon after a Kardashian backwhack. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Yep. Messier, how, how messy? messier than a bathroom at a chili cook-off. <laughs> You're right, I also hate me. <laughs> Jeff, any more messy ones? Messier than Stevie Wonder's finger paintings. <laughs> the hell, man? Yeah. Too far, man. Yeah. Too far. Yeah. Too far. Knock it off. I'd like to apologize for, on behalf of my appliance. <laughs> now, this weather, there's only one group of people that like weather like this. That's weathermen. You know, that's when they get to use all the cheesy puns. Green Bay, more like Green Burr. <laughs> Illinois, more like Chillinoy. <laughs> Hoboken, more like, holy crap, my balls just receded into my body. <laughs> Boken. <laughs> <laughs> that last one was a bit of a stretch, I admit. But listen. But the weird thing is, today also happens to be National Weather Person's Day. That's a real thing. <laughs> run, Clay, run! No, it's... <laughs> it's strange that Blizzard fell on National Weather Person's Day, because I never knew that weathermen get their own day. They just get one day, though, as opposed to sharks, who get a whole week. This is because... <laughs> this is because sharks possess an actual skill. Today is National Weather Person's Day because of the birthday of John Jeffries. Now, John Jeffries was America's first weather observer. Do you get a picture of John Jeffries? There, there he is. That's him. These, that's him there fingering his instrument. <laughs> but here's the thing. John Jeffries got his weather training at the University of Aberdeen in Scotland. Aha! <laughs> right, which is rough because predicting weather in Scotland is very tricky. You know, it's like, today, crap, tomorrow, crap. <laughs> Let's have a look at the 10-day outlook. Crap, 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 <laughs> drizzle, more crap, and then maybe a fight on Saturday. <laughs> See, in L.A., the weather people here are very cheerful because the weather's nice. They're like, oh. 
And they always give themselves weathery names. What's that guy? Um, oh, Dallas Rain. Dallas Rain. Yeah, yeah he's calls his name, his name. calls himself Dallas Rain. Like call yourself Stormy Johnston or something. <laughs> Johnny Puddle. <laughs> Bob Fogg. <laughs> What's well like Bob Foggy? You uh, get any? Yeah, Chet Stream. <laughs> You're right. Hey, listen, I still haven't let the Stevie Wonder thing go, to be honest, anyway. <laughs> These days, uh, weathermen rely uh, on technology. You know, they're always talking about how the Doppler 5000 radar is. Doppler, fi Doppler 5000. Doppler, yeah, yeah. Which reminds everyone that it's really the machine that does the forecasting. And it's, uh, you know, a human taking credit when a robot, a robot is doing most of the work. <laughs> yeah, in your dreams, you skinny bastard. Kiss my ass. Thanks for, for good sidekicking there. Yeah, sorry. Kiss my yeah. ass. <laughs> Does Andy Richter ever say to Conan, kiss my ass? Andy Richter isn't plugged into a friggin' wall, man. Not on the show. I'd like to apologize on behalf of my appliance. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it, man. Leave it. Right. Uh, anyway, I, I see uh, weather people. That's what I'm talking. No one sets out to be a weather person. It's like being a realtor. You know what I mean? It's like a Plan B thing. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm lying. <laughs> no, I've always wanted to be a realtor. I didn't care about being an actor at all. <laughs> the only people, you know, it's the weather. You become a weather if, except for the weather girls on Univision. Oh yeah. Oh, holy crackers. <laughs> That's what weather should always be like. Sunny with an 80% chance of caliente. <laughs> No, uh, Jackie Garrido. Remember Jackie? Oh, she was, you got a picture of Jackie Garrido? There she is. Hey, see? Whoa, I think Florida just started to point north. Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. The big show? The big show. This is the big one, man. Is it? What's happening tonight? It's our big, big weather storm watch. Oh, yeah, that's it. It's uh, multiple snowgasm. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? An orgasm of lethargy. Lethargy, right? yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like being French. You just kind of like. They're in a constant state of uh, lethargy, that's correct. With an, or with with, an orgasm. You know, with a, you know, a, a bit added. I'd probably get into trouble if I keep saying that word, wouldn't I? No, I can see orgasm as much as I want. Yeah, <laughs> yeah all right. Yeah. Run, play, run! Run, play, run! Run, play, run! All right, that's enough. I'm very excited about Clay Aiken running for Congress. It's kind of cool. It's it kind is of cool. kind of cool. You know why? He's a decent American. He's out there and he wants to have, have his voice heard. It, what, is, what is he, by the way? Is he a Republican, a Democrat, or just Clay Aiken? Just Clay Aiken. It's a new party. Clay Aiken. The Clay Aiken? The Clay Aiken. What if Ruben Studdard wants to run against him? It's a, it's a big fella. Is he still big? I don't know, is he slimmed down? Is Ruben Probably, Ruben yeah, people down? do that in show business. They start off big, then they slim down. Is that right? Yeah, look at Drew Carey. He used to be huge and fat, now he's like you, man. Yeah, I've had to talk to him about it. It's a little out of control. Yeah, I think so. Because, I, I, you know, I, I was like, you know, I used to think, well, when I was working on the Drew Carey show, I thought, well, I've let myself go a bit, but, you know, I'm not as bad as Drew. <laughs> and now I see Drew and I'm like, I'm worse than Drew. Yeah. <laughs> You to put your life in perspective. Yeah, well, what, 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 what kind of world is it when I'm fatter than Drew Carey? <laughs> you know what? He should, he should host the show one night. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. We should do that. Nah. Nah. <laughs> hey, uh, Jeff. Yes? Ah, see, one ding. We are German. That's right? correct. Two dings. We are still German. Still German. <laughs> Three dings. We are Dracula. 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 
Although I'd like to change Dracula to uh, Upper West Side of Manhattan works in a store, South American Dracula. Right, okay. All right. So, what are you wearing? I don't like you. <laughs> with, your, with that outfit, you might as well drive a stake through my heart. Oh. <laughs> Four dings? That's uh, Italian Bill Clinton, although now we're changing it. To what? To whatever one you were doing before. No, I, what, what was it? Oh, yeah. Oh, Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton has Austin Powers. Has Austin Powers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Very good. Uh, five things? That's, uh, that's room service. Hello, room service. Hello, sir. It's uh, Jerry from room service. Ah, Jerry, it's Craig from room service. <laughs> oh. I don't remember calling uh, room service. Uh, what, 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 uh, what do I want? Uh, would you like a sandwich? I would, uh, now that you mention it. Yes, uh, certainly. Uh, lettuce? Sure. Have a sandwich together. <laughs> well, thanks, thanks very much. Can someone bring it up to me? I'm only wearing uh, just a stocking right now. Were you here the night that they had the big... Uh... Man, it was so crazy. We did things. I just, I'm so regretting it right now. Let me ask you this. So, you know, Regis, uh, really? Yeah, he lost. He lost big. Is that why he's never been back? They made him stand in the fire, man. It was really weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, uh, is there anyone else there with you, by the way? Uh, uh, let me check. Uh, hold on a second. <laughs> Hang on. Hello there, this is Liam Neeson. Oh, Liam Neeson! Oh, hello, Liam Neeson. Hold on a second. It's Liam Neeson. Shut up! I don't know who you are because I don't watch CBS. But I will find you. And I will put a stocking on you. I'm still here. Wow. Thanks, Liam Neeson. Amazing. Right. Amazing. Really good. What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's Tweet Mail Time Winter Edition with Craig Goldfront Ferguson. Play the jingle! Twitter! Tweet, tweet, tweet! Twitter! Chicken Vindaloo is good to eat. My name is Scooter. I'll fix your computer. I'm a happening guy and a dope troubleshooter. When you call tech support, you'll be talking to me. I got more patience than Mahatma Gandhi. And emails. And your emails. Email time again. Oh, sorry, everyone. I was just singing before I run for Congress. <laughs> You've got my vote, pal. Thanks a lot, buddy. Now I only need some more. <laughs> Folks, get on Twitter and start voting now. Craig for Congress. Actually, that might work. I like that. It's very yeah. catchy. But no, I don't want to go to Congress. It's creepy enough hanging around with show business people. The man who is congressman? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is from Michael in Tucson, Arizona. I don't know if you can tell, but Michael seems to be some kind of hippo. Do they have hippos in Tucson? Sure, yeah, yeah, there's a couple out there. Sure. Dear Craig, uh, says Michael, uh, have you ever been to the annual mineral and fossil show here in Tucson? Have I? <laughs> <laughs> this is from Lyle in Paris. Ooh. Paris? Ooh. Lyle said, uh, well, I'll read this in a French accent because French people love that. They don't like you to speak French. They like you to speak English with a French accent. That's their favorite. <laughs> Dare Craig? <laughs> the news here is reporting that the hamburger has taken over from the baguette as the most popular sandwich in all of France. <laughs> Thought you'd want to know. <laughs> well, merci, Lyle, and uh, take that baguette. I, don't, really I like a baguette. I, you, you can have a baguette and a hamburger, can't you? Yeah, just ask Reuben Studdard. <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, now, wait you know what, man? You have got to knock that... Just, you know... <laughs> 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 don't 
don't mock people for their size, man. man. That's on. not fun. Oh, yeah. That's no, not you cool. Would never don't do that. that. You would never do that. Well, I mock you for your size, but you're an appliance. <laughs> you, he has no feelings. I'm pretending to be deeply hurt. But he's not deeply hurt. That's the whole trick of this, you see? It's attack the person who doesn't feel it. <laughs> right? Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. All right. <clears throat> uh, this is from Diane in Raleigh, North Carolina. You ever been there? Raleigh, yeah. Oh, what a place. Um, <laughs> Craig, what do you think about Clay Aitken running for Congress? <laughs> oh. Wow. Well, I think you know. Run, Clay, run! Run, Clay, run! That's enough. This is from James in Cambridge, England. You ever... Uh, oh, well, I have to talk like this. Not quite. quite yeah, that's quite right. 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 Uh, Nick's, Nick's news in from England. <laughs> James in Cambridge, England says, Craig, do you know anything about Hans Lansen Martinson, the fierce philosophical opponent of Kierkegaard? Why, yes, I do. <laughs> Uh, this is from somebody else, and this is another one. All right, we'll be right back. Is an Emmy Award winning actor. Emmy Award winning, yeah. Yeah? He stars in The Big Bang Theory Thursday nights at 8 o'clock on CBS. Take a look at this. <laughs> Jim Parsons, everybody! Jim Parsons! You know, Craig said that you're lying. No. Craig said it's an orgasm of energy. Right. So uh, this is sweet, but it's ooh la la, isn't it? No. Yeah. No, and please refrain from cussing on this show. No, I'm sorry. I really am sorry. No, it's all right. I understand. You get out from the confines of prime time. You come to the dark corner of CBS. No, where they don't you... pay you enough and things aren't good enough. It's just you can do, you can dirty it up. But you, you look very nice in your three-piece, but You the way. look very nice in Thank your two-piece. You look the two-piece, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do you have a third piece? You're no, not, not showing this us? one I don't. I have some that have three pieces, and this is not one of them. Well, it's very nice, though. <laughs> They're very similar to <laughs> They are. We look like we could be in Downton Abbey, both of us. You're absolutely right. <laughs> I say, don't you look absolutely splendid? No, it is a weekend. Mmm. <laughs> it's a sort of quiet bit between the two weeks. That's right. Yes. yes. Do you watch? Don't Abbey? Yeah. Not since the first season. No, I don't watch that much either. Yeah, no, I used to, but then I kind of... <laughs> no, 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 I didn't tire of it by any means. I just, it wasn't, it wasn't on the regularly scheduled schedule. So. Really? No, it didn't. You, are you a very scheduled you know person? What? You're like, well, 8 o'clock, time for Dutton. Oh, no, 8 o'clock, time for bed. <laughs> really? Yeah, very I always think so. of you as being a much more kind of out of control drunk. <laughs> Yeah. I no, know. not at no, all. No, I know. And we, oh my God. What? But here's what I do when, when I hit the hay at 8 o'clock. I, 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 one of the reasons I like to get to bed that early is because I want to read. Because I really sleep better if I can read. Excuse and me a second. I just want to explain something. Reading is uh, oh, like before. <laughs> I'm reading on an electronic device. The kids know what that is. It's an iPad, you know. I, or, or some other form of tablet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What the hell, man? No, wait a minute. No, no, forget all that. Forget all that. Forget... I, 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 um, you and I share a common interest in re You like murder mysteries. Oh, I do love a good murder I mystery. I love them. Oh, yes. But, but I like them quite gritty, though. Do you like them gritty? Well, 
I, I don't care about the grit. I mean, that's fine. All murder is gritty, isn't it, to a degree? Well, it's, unless it's like Agatha Christie sort of, I'm afraid. No, 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 no. That's the, I love Agatha. I've read everything Agatha Christie's written. Everything. You shock me. No, shut up. <laughs> but so I, I hit the Google and I asked, when I finished all of Agatha's books, I said, what, who is an author similar to Agatha Christie? And I came upon the slightly horrifying realization that I don't just like murder mysteries. I like a specific genre that's referred to as the cozy mystery. Yes, that's what I meant. Isn't that awful? It's no. disgusting sounding, though. I don't know. I think a cozy mystery sounds quite sexy. Well, no. <laughs> It's, like, well, see, you want I a little think, cozy mystery? Really? Yes! No, 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 no. See, I, Sounds I like see... some, like, mustache tickle or something. Yeah, yeah I guess. I, you know, I see, I think more like little old ladies and knitting and things like that. Hey, whatever floats your boat, right. man. It's, uh... no, 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 it's not what floats my boat. I just, there's some of them that do that. I don't read all the ones that have little old ladies in them. No, but you, one of the authors you are so crazy about is a cozy mystery uh, author. Who? I can't remember his name. It's, a, uh, it's the one that has the, the, oh, God, you brought one of his characters out of retirement, basically. Oh, uh, Larry Block. Yes, La he is on the cozy well, list. But, but why? Because if it's like a smaller town, not necessarily a small town mystery, where all the characters kind of know each other, and like it's an, it's an insular mystery. It's like, it's like of, of one town. It's of one, of one surrounding. Wait a minute, Jim. What? Who makes these rules? Who, who says this? Well, now, I'll tell you. <laughs> I went, to, when I hit the Google about the Agatha, mm -hmm. I was led to cozy mystery. Ah. And, and I don't Those know. bastards. No, she... <laughs> I don't think the woman who runs it's a bastard at all. In fact, I've enjoyed. I, that's how I found so many great authors. I'm reading P.D. James right now. Oh, I love P.D. P.D. James is very dark, though. It's not well, cozy at cozy. all. It's like, well, oh, it's yeah, and then the. No. Ah, and the ah. I agree. That's why I said grit is not the issue. Oh, it's right. The cozy. But what's cozy about. If they all know each other and they're all familiar with each other and they all. So, wait, the, so. Why am I defending cozy mysteries? <laughs> I just, you know. I have no idea. Anyway, I'm delighted that you've found a, a new author, Larry Block, right? Are you going to read Larry's book? Uh, yes, uh, one of your exceedingly uh, highly trained staff back there just gave me uh, <laughs> one of his books. Yeah, there's a bunch a of A real like... book this time, yeah, not, no, not a tablet. I like to, I still use uh, oh, God, real books. Yes. Because yeah. I. Because I can fall asleep. If I've got an, uh, an electronic tablet, I yeah. stay awake. Because of the light, you I think? I think it's something to do yeah. with that, and flies come in, and I'm like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think you're absolutely right. And, uh, and being an actor, I like to, you probably do too with your job, I like to write. I like to take notes, and th not in the mysteries, mind you, but like, I'm just. What, r write? Well, no, I mean, no, but like at work or whatever, you know, I would never. Is that the same the as tablet. tweeting? <laughs> no, God, I would, I would not. You're not tweet. on the tweeting, are you? No. <laughs> no, I. I I really don't care for it. Well, you know, it's interesting. I, I come and go with it. Sometimes I like it you very much. You do tweet, much. though, right? Every now and again, okay. yeah. I, I, I used to tweet a lot, and then, and then I read... What, what happened? Well, then I read what other people were the tweeting haters. back to me, and I'm like, oh, please. <laughs> no, it's actually... Here's the thing. 99.9% .9 of people are absolutely lovely. I agree with you. But the problem is... That 0.1% is the percent Absolutely, the that's the one. I and, agree with you. And that's the fly in the ointment, and that's the one that, that's the squeaky wheel, and that gets your attention, and you think, oh, I can't take any of this anymore! You know, I had a friend very, very early on, when, like, when the television show first started or whatever, it was like, if you... Now that people are aware that you're out there, or some people are, if you're going to have to go on the internet for something, get it to consider it a very dangerous neighborhood. It's terrible. Drive right? with your windows up, get to your destination, and get the hell back. <laughs> Do not stop and read comments. Do not Never stop read the comments. Re Never the comments, read the comments. That's where the 0.1% is most yeah, of the time. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. You're ugly and I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's the thing is, I used to think about this, is like, you know, if people, like, if you did a, a stand-up show, yeah. and then someone would come up to me after the stand-up show and go, I didn't like what you said about bananas. Yes. And I'd be like, although no one's ever said that, because I don't, I'd never don't insult banana bananas. Right, right. No, right. no. But then I would think, I'd get all upset about it, and think, but everybody else just went home. They all laughed. Yeah, yeah, and they were or like, whatever. ah, ha, bananas, yeah. Yeah. take that, you know, but... <laughs> But I concentrate. But it feels on... different on the internet. You think? Yeah, it's worse. Yeah, uh, it's much worse. It's anonymous and frightening. It's not cozy the at all. And an the uh, anonymity. An anonymity. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. Well, though. did you did you do it when the show started? Because you've become immensely famous in the time it's I've known immensely. you. You've become. Uh, you have though. You... <laughs> 
It's <laughs> that god awful comedian that you had before the show. They did this to them, didn't they? No, 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 no. Goofy no, juice. they're genuinely they're impressed that you're here, and I understand because so am I. What, because, Craig? Well, not that impressed, but a, a little bit impressed because. You're, you know, you're very, very, you know, wealthy now. Have you ever had Meryl Streep on? Meryl Streep? Mm -hmm. On this show? Yeah. <laughs> what? But I don't think she's uh, yeah, a lot she's, of Yeah, she's, no, a lot. She's actually in the back end of the horse tonight. <laughs> say, <laughs> say, say hi, Meryl. <laughs> see, there you go. Yeah. That's why. That's why you can't take your eyes off the horse. That's why you just believe it is the back of the end of a horse. The horse's yeah. ass. Yeah. Um, uh, you, you, so you've never had her on here? No, no, I of course would be delighted. Why I was thinking about that the other Meryl day. Meryl Streep? Yeah, about did you her see, being um, on the show. Did you see, um, no. uh, what's the, the, the Mamma Mia? One? Mamma Mia. Oh, God, yeah. I loved that. Yeah, it was very yeah, fun. Yeah, I liked when Pierce Brosnan said, <laughs> I see you kept my bagpipes. <laughs> I mean, there's an actor. He's willing to go the distance and say crap. Yeah. I, you know, I haven't watched much. I, did you watch Remington Steel when it was on? I was pretty young. Yeah, I was pretty young too. You must have been an, an embryo. Uh, uh, yes, yes. You know, I didn't really see. I was in uh, in the UK when Remington Steel was. Were they airing there? I don't know. We didn't have television. You know what else he was good in? <laughs> oh, stop. You he know, was also very good in uh, the Robin Williams when uh, Mom misses Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire. He was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Robin Williams. Robin Williams was very good as a as a Scottish woman. He certainly was. I was like he? when I watched that, I was like, Mom, what are you doing? <laughs> Well, that was your part. You were robbed. You were I, robbed. That was your part. No, I, I, I don't think so. I think Robin's a fairly capable comedic actor. I think it's only fair to and say. And a better looking woman than you would have been. Now that. No, no wait a minute. No offense. Now you've gone too far because oh, I, see, he's hairy. He, he's. I knew it would turn. No, it. But you're not unhairy. Are you? I actually am. You have hair. I am. I'm like a dolphin under here. Like a dolphin. I am. Really? Yes, I'm svelte. You wax? I don't need to wax. You don't need to wax? No, I'm just a natural born swimmer. Wow. No, I, I wax a little bit. No, you don't. Well, I, I you know, I trim. I've, okay. What man past the year 2000 didn't? Or doesn't? I, I could know. tell you a thing or two. I hate where this has gone. I hate where this show went about 2008. No. Uh, <laughs> you got a new studio. I mean, things it's are It's nice. Okay. Fire's blazing <laughs> in the grate, you know. That's warm. Thank yeah. Hey, hey, how are you? I'm, I'm very good, actually. You look good. You look uh, put together. Thank you. Nice. you. Yeah. yeah. I have people who have helped. That's good. Um, takes a village. <laughs> we'll be right back with Jim Parsons, everybody. <laughs> We're back on the air. Oh. Yeah, we, we weren't talking about anything interesting. That's we're, not entirely true. Well, we were talking about tattoos, actually, if you must know. I've got five, and Jim has... None. None? No, I don't have <clears> any. <throat> call yourself a Texan. Never came up. What do you mean, call myself a Texan? T tattoos in Texas go hand in hand? I think so. I think these days, yes, yeah, a lot of Texans have tattoos. It's got two teeth A lot of everybody it. has a tattoo. Yes, I know. They used to be counterculture. I saw more just... tattoos in Brooklyn than I saw in Texas. Well, maybe just the places you were going, that's well, all. It may have been. I'm just making a point that, you know, I love Texas. I love Texas, too. I'm going to Texas I next heard week. that. Yeah, you going, going to Austin. To, you're going to Austin, but no And then else. Dallas. And then Dallas. Yeah. Not Houston. Not this time, no. That's Houston's right. where you're from. You're the only uh, person no. I've ever met who's yeah. from Houston. Everyone else. I'm is the Houston. only one you've met from well, Houston. Well, yes, because everyone else I know who's from Houston is like from Houston. It's like the fourth Houston. largest city in the, in the country. Yeah, but it's, it's like LA. Everybody goes there. Nobody's actually from there. Come on. I am. I was born in St. Joseph's Hospital in Houston, and I lived there until I was 20, I don't know what, and then... You don't even remember I when really you left? Don't. I really It was 99, so I was 26. Hang on. Oh, you're looking good, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I love getting older. I'm actually okay with it. I used to know, there was a point when I was really uh, problematic, and now I'm fine. You were, you were, you didn't love that you were aging? Well, I felt that it was going to limit my chances of, uh, Working? You know, I, no. 
Sure, that's working. Yeah, working. Working. I really wasn't yeah. speaking for it. I was like, what would you worry about? I was like, working. With well, I thought I, I thought I would turn into one of these people in LA that dye their eyebrows. Oh. You know, you know what I mean? No. Wait, you have some things going in your favor, though. You have a wonderful wit, you have intelligence, and you've gotten, you've possibly gotten better looking with age. Wow. That, well, but <laughs> it's true. It's true. But that helps. There's you know? a butt coming. No, there's no butt. There's really? No but. I just mean that I think that a lot of the things that are that suck about aging are are, are qualities that you don't suffer from. Well, well, parts of me do. Well, well, look, no, th their things are gonna hurt as you. Yeah, go. they do. They yeah, hurt. They... I agree. But well, you that. look great. Are you in Thank some you. kind of physical regimen? <laughs> I wouldn't call it a regimen. Well, I mean, I do things. What you, you you do calisthenics? Do you? Uh, no, you know... I mean whatever you refer to them as. Sure. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Pilates, perhaps? No, I don't do Pilates. Uh, I should. I should do Pilates. I did yoga when I was in grad school. Yoga is very yoga. good. Yoga is very good. It's one of those things I know is good for me because I despise it when I'm doing it. You know, <laughs> I need to slow down. I need to like that centering stuff or whatever. Mm, I don't know. I tried spinning. Grade. I've tried spinning. And? Rather love it. Did you really? Yes. You go into a dark room and you pedal really fast. Oh, you're like doing Soul Cycle or whatever. Well, no, it's not that one. It's but another... it is dark. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a dark room, and then they, they this, there's a lot of nice-looking women in there, and and they're all they can all pedal bikes faster yeah. than me, which I find kind of attractive. And <laughs> and then there's someone at the front who shouts encouraging things to you. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's like Does where it... were you in my childhood? You know. Wait, well. Does the seat hurt after a while? I always think yes. it hurt. I, yes. See? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Do you wear special pants or is I'm wearing it... them now. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You know? I don't like know what them. seat's gonna hurt around here. Yeah. Um, hey, oh, we're out of time. What? are you kidding? Uh, yes, I, I I was gonna ask you about cooked fruit. Well, just go ahead. Do you like it? Cooked fruit? Cooked fruit. I'm not sure. I had a big thing with my sister hates it. Like I like like apple pie. I well, like... yes, yeah, apple pie, I suppose. Yeah. But she won't touch that. Well, is she in Al Qaeda or something? No. <laughs> She's in Texas. I don't know. Without I, a tattoo. That American who doesn't like apple pie seems a little odd to me. That's I all. I shouldn't have brought. You know what? We'll, we'll save it. I'll talk about cooked fruit next time. <laughs> and if you don't want to, we don't have well, to. I think now as you brought it up, we should probably all right. you know, get to the end of it. Well, I just think that, like, do you like a compote? Or a, a... Well, a compote isn't this. Well, it's cooked, but then it's allowed to cool. But that's, the requirement wasn't that it be steaming hot fruit. <laughs> it's just simply that it was cooked, I and therefore know, the texture changed. I didn't know what the rules were. Like I was on Cozy like... Hobo or whatever it was. All I'm saying, Cozy Mystery. Cozy Mystery, yeah. <laughs> Did you say Hobo? Yeah, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that a sex thing, a cozy no, homo? No, I did want. I, I kind of thought you said cozy homo, and I thought, <laughs> where are we going with this? Um, but uh, no, like my sister likes uh, like an uncooked apple, but she doesn't like it once it's been stewed. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd have her checked by the FBI, quite frankly. <laughs> this has really gone to hell. <laughs> Tim Parsons, everybody. Thank you. If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit llstickets.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? So we learned that uh, our friend... James Parsons enjoys the cozy mysteries. And he also enjoys a bit of cooked fruit. Which leads me to believe that someone in this room, Jeff, is a murderer! Wow, that was good. They that were good there. They really got yeah. it, didn't they? It's like they planned it. It's, wow. wow. I don't know what to do when things go right. Maybe we should just hold each other. Thank <laughs> you.